From ambush predators in the jungle to putting the squeeze on their prey, here are 15 striking facts about boa constrictor snakes. Number 15. There can only be one. You probably know that most animals have a common name and a scientific or binomial name, which is typically in Latin. But here's a case where the animal's common name is the same as its scientific name. There are 49 species of non-venomous constricting snakes, all of which are members of the same family. Boa is the name of a genus within that family, and the boa constrictor is the only recognised species within that genus. Experts say that it's very rare when an animal's scientific name is the same as its common name. Can you think of any others? Number 14. Size Matters these are considered to be large snakes, which can grow around 13 feet long, 4 meters, depending on the locality. Typically, females are larger than males, and they tend to grow larger in captivity, where lengths of 14 feet or 4.3 meters are not uncommon. Larger specimens of this stout-bodied beast can weigh around 60 pounds or 27 kilograms, although there are unverified accounts of them reaching 100 pounds or 45 kilos. A lot of what determines their size has to do with where they're located, the subspecies involved, and the availability of suitable prey. Number 13. Snake Country The colouring of boas can vary according to where they're found, and that is primarily from Mexico through Central and South America in countries ranging from Suriname, Venezuela, Brazil and Argentina. They can also show up on many islands along the coast of the continent and are adaptable to a great variety of habitats. That includes semi-desert country and tropical rainforests. Outside of those ranges, these animals have been reported breeding in Florida, where they were released into the wild. Number 12. Home Sweet Home while boa constrictors can adapt to diverse environments, experts say that their habitat of choice is the humid rainforest. The temperature is more agreeable, there's a wide range of prey, and there are plenty of places to hide from predators, which can include jaguars, eagles, and crocodiles. Very often they can be found living in streams or along rivers, since they're very skilled swimmers. Number 11. Tail of the Snake these animals are often referred to by the common name red-tailed boa. It's inspired by the reddish-brown saddles that are noticeable around the snake's tail. Overall, their colouring can consist of base colours that are cream, brown or grey. Within its natural range, the coloration works to provide effective camouflage in jungles and forests. Number 10. Main Squeeze the common perception of boa constrictors is that they kill their prey by wrapping themselves around the victim and then squeezing them tightly enough until they suffocate. But that's not exactly what kills them. While the snakes do crush their victim's ribcage so they can't breathe, many creatures can survive for an extended period without air. So the reptiles actually cut off the victim's blood supply to the brain and the heart, which renders the prey unconscious and quickly kills them. Since their prey can often be dangerous with sharp claws or teeth, it's best to dispatch them as soon as possible. By monitoring the prey's heartbeat, the snakes know when it's time to feast. Number 9. Prey du jour When they do put the squeeze on their prey, the victims are often rodents, but they can also go after fellow reptiles like lizards, and it's not uncommon for them to take down larger mammals like ocelots. The boas typically start off with smaller creatures like mice and birds, then progress to larger prey like bats and amphibians as they mature and grow larger. Since they can open their jaws so wide, whatever they eat is swallowed up in one go. Number 8. Need to Feed And how do these constrictor snakes go about getting that prey? They're ambush predators that will lie patiently in wait until their target is within range. But when prey is scarce, they can become active hunters, usually doing so at night. When the boa strikes, it does so with its teeth. After grabbing it, they proceed to coil about it to cut off the blood supply as we previously mentioned. The snake uses its teeth and muscles to force its food down its throat and into the stomach. Since their metabolism is so slow, it can take them up to a week to digest their meal, depending on the size of the animal consumed. In some cases, the snake might not need to feed again for several months. 
Number 7. On Their Own Boas are nocturnal reptiles and for the most part they prefer solitude unless they want to mate. While they are semi-arboreal critters, they usually take to the trees when they're younger. As they get older and heavier, they tend to be more terrestrial. While boas are mainly known for using their coils, they can also strike with a painful bite, although they have no fangs and it's not considered dangerous to humans. Wildlife biologists say that the aggressive behaviour is displayed most often by specimens from Central America, but the snakes from South America seem to be more laid back. Why do you think that is? Number 6. Happy Boa Birthday Did you know that boa constrictors are ovoviviparous? It means that the mother retains the eggs and hatches them inside her body. She then gives birth to live offspring in clutches ranging from 10 babies to more than 60. The young grow up fast and are essentially independent within minutes after being born. Within a few months, they'll grow to around 3 feet long or 0.9 meters. Number 5. Primitive Snakes At one point in the distant past, snakes had legs. While the appendages disappeared over time, the gene for growing limbs was still retained. So today's boas, along with pythons, retain the rudiments of primitive legs which are known as pelvic spurs. They appear like small claws and males will use them for mating. Some other unusual physical traits boas possess include two functioning lungs. Most snakes only use one, or have lost the left lung altogether. Because boas have retained ancient features that have faded into other species, they are often regarded as primitive snakes. Number 4. Pest Control Even though the predators have a bad reputation, they can often have a positive impact on the environment. That's often the case with boas. When they turn predator, they go after rats and other rodents, which can be notorious pests that invade human food supplies and spread disease. In addition to rodents, they can play a role in keeping populations of opossums in check. Those native marsupials can carry sandflies that transmit leishmaniasis, a parasitic disease that is potentially fatal to humans. In certain areas, the snakes are intentionally turned loose to provide a type of pest control. Who knew that these scary looking snakes might be good for your health? Number 3. Which is which? Since boa constrictors, anacondas and pythons are large snakes, they can sometimes be confused for one another. So here are some ways to distinguish them. Anacondas are a species of boa, not a separate snake species. So that leaves boas and pythons. Both are constrictors and both have primitive features including two lungs, rudimentary legs and pelvic bones. But pythons are native to the old world including Africa and Asia, while boas are new world reptiles native to the Americas. When it comes to perpetuating their populations, boas give birth to live young, but pythons lay eggs. And there's a size differential. Boa constrictors can reach about 14 feet long, 4.3 meters, and their cousin the green anaconda can exceed 17 feet long, 5.2 meters. But the reticulated python can reach nearly 23 feet long, that's 6.95 meters, and is usually regarded as the world's longest snake. Number 2. Titanoboa We can't get through this sort of episode without mentioning this humongous prehistoric snake. It was actually the biggest boa of them all, hence that name, Titanoboa. This huge creature was actually related to present-day anaconda snakes, but whether it was more closely related to them or to boa constrictors is still debated. Judging from a single fossil specimen discovered in Colombia, the reptile would have measured around 43 feet long, 13 meters, and weighed a staggering 2,500 pounds, that's 1.1 thousand kilos. It went extinct around 60 million years ago, but in its day, it would have been the world's largest terrestrial vertebrate. Number 1. Prized Possessions These reptiles are known to do well in captivity and are a common sight in zoos. Boas are also popular in the exotic pet trade and show up in many private reptile collections. While they're still exported from their native lands, great numbers of them are now bred in captivity. Sometimes they're selectively bred to produce a variety of colour morphs, including albinos. While they're relatively undemanding as pets, their large size as adults mean they need plenty of space and proper habitat. They also require a long-term commitment. Boa constrictors can live for more than 40 years in captivity. 
Would you want one as a pet? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell for notifications. See you in the next one.